ओम नमः शिवाय स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ न्यू चैप्टर दिस चैप्टर इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग बिकॉज दिस चैप्टर इज अबाउट आवर बॉडी दिस चैप्टर इज अबाउट ह्यूमन बॉडी दिस इज द सेवेंथ चैप्टर ऑफ योर साइंस बुक एंड द नेम ऑफ दिस चैप्टर इज ह्यूमन स्केलिटल सिस्टम see students this year you are unable to go to school uh, otherwise i would have taken you to the lab where we have a skeleton and uh, you could have see the skeleton nicely and then you will be able then uh, means it would be more interesting to you but still then students i i have uh, tried to uh, gather some pictures of human skeleton and thereby i have provided you through this video class so observe the pictures as well as listen to the video class nicely carefully and then refer to your textbook also so that it will be easier for you to understand okay so at first we will discuss about skeleton what is skeleton skeleton is actually the internal structure of our body it gives us the shape it gives us the support to stand without the skeleton without the presence of skeleton inside our body our human body would not get the shape okay the shape that we are having our face our hand our legs so everything is because of the presence of skeleton inside our body now what is the skeleton made up of the skeleton is made up of bones bones inside our body make up a hard structure which is actually called the skeleton or the skeletal system of our body now in the inside human body our skeleton Uh, means an an adult human body skeleton is made up of two hundred and six bones. Now the skeletal system consists of the skull, the backbone, the rib cage, and the two pairs of limbs. The two pairs of limbs are also called the four limbs or the arms and hind limbs or the legs. Okay, so ah uh, see this ah uh, this picture. this portion the head portion is called the skull this cage like structure is the rib cage and from the back of our back of our body we will uh, be able to see the backbone but actually this is this is the backbone this one okay and these are the four limbs or the arms and these are the hind limbs or the legs okay so these are the major portions of our skeleton we will discuss about each and every of this portion in our video class see this is the picture of our skull our skull is made up of 22 bones which is being divided into 8 plus 14 8 bones are present in the head region and the rest 14 bones are present in the face region okay now all these bones are joined with each other means especially the skull bones they are joined like a jigsaw puzzle i hope students you all have seen a puzzle game where each and every piece is attached to another piece similarly the eight bones of the skull region are attached to each other but you know students this this bones they cannot move from each other they are fixed now the 14 bones which are present in the face region or the facial region that is also uh, means they are also unable to move but there is an exception only the lower jaw of our skull is movable okay so other than the lower jaw all the other bones they are joined in such a way in the skull that they are unable to move clear so i hope students the skull region is clear to everyone now let us discuss about backbone see this is the picture of backbone now the backbone is present at the back of our body it supports our body it helps us to stand straight 
even it helps us to sit straight it helps us to twist our body bend our body so all the type of movements are associated by the help of our backbone now whenever we are discussing about backbone we should know that the backbone is not made up of a single bone if our backbone was made up of a only a single bone like a pipe then we were unable to bend our body because it's a straight stiff bone but uh, our body needs movement we have to twist our body bend our body turn our body so that is why our backbone is made up of uh, not it is not made up of a single bone but rather it is made up of small bones 33 small bones which are called the vertebrae each one is called vertebra and when it is becoming plural when we are talking in plural 33 we are telling then we have to tell 33 vertebrae now this 33 vertebrae form a strong column which is called the vertebral column now through this column the spinal cord passes so that means the vertebral column protects the spinal cord it allows the spinal cord to pass through it as well as it protects the spinal cord now what is the spinal cord we are discussing about spinal cord is a very important portion of our body and it is actually a large bundle of nerves when you will learn about nervous system then you will learn in detail about nerves but nerves actually carry informations from the brains to different parts of our body so the spinal cord is a large bundle of nerves that sends information from the brain to the rest of the body okay so you often get a question what is spinal cord then you will you can write the definition from here also or it is present in your book also clear so i hope i am clear with skull and backbone now we will discuss about rib cage from the name only we can understand that the shape surely resembles a cage and yes it looks like a cage isn't it now but here the birds are not kept here inside this cage or inside this rib cage two major important organs of our body are well protected they are the heart and the pair of lungs we have two lungs and one heart this heart and lungs are being protected by the rib cage now this uh, this bones of the rib cage they are actually called the ribs what are they called they are ribs and this ribs join together to form the rib cage now the ribs are joined to the breast bone and the backbone see in the front this bone this is called the breast bone so the ribs are joined to this breast bone in the front and at the back they are joined to the uh, backbone but you know there are uh, the lowest two pairs of the rib cage are joined only to the backbone and they are not joined to the they are not joined to the breast bone and they are known as the floating ribs so which are the floating ribs the lowest two pairs of the rib cage are called the floating ribs because they are joined only to the backbone they are not joined to the breast bone clear so how many uh, pairs of ribs are there 12 pairs out of them 10 pairs are joined both to the breast bone and to the backbone and the last two pairs are joined only to the backbone and not to the breast bone clear now we will discuss about limbs now as i told that there are two pairs of limbs one is the four limbs one the first pair are the four limbs means and another pair is called the hind limbs okay so the four limbs or arms stretch from the shoulder to the fingertip see i have tried to manage a picture from the shoulder to the fingertip this is considered to be the uh, four limb now it is joined to the spine through the shoulder girdles so this uh, this is actually joined the four limb is joined to the backbone okay by the help of another bone which is called the shoulder girdle the shoulder girdles consists of a pair of shoulder blades and a pair of collar bones okay uh, so uh, the shoulder girdle has two parts uh, it uh, it has the shoulder blade 
means uh, if if you will touch your shoulder you will be able to see means you will be able to feel the shoulder girdle uh, means the shoulder blade and the collar bone also collar bone is just uh, below the neck region uh, means that is why when we wear a shirt uh then uh, then then the portion of the dress uh, just below our neck is also called the collar okay because because there lies our collar bone clear and what about the hind limbs or legs they are large and strong to help support the body weight always remember we stand up on our legs so the femur or the thigh bone this one see it is colored red this is known as the femur or the thigh bone it is the longest bone of our body every year it comes uh, comes in exam that which is the longest bone of our body femur femur is also called the thigh bone it is the longest bone of our body it bears the weight of the whole body am i clear students so you learn the chapter up to here and very soon i will send you the next video class in which we will discuss many more interesting fact about human body till then students read the chapter line by line om namah shivaya